the coffee flower muffin had notably a notably bitter mm, says Tico. But we hardly notice a difference in the browning. For a quick health boost, try a tablespoon of coffee flour in a smoothie. Hmm. Wow. You'll get a caffeine boost, too. A tablespoon has about 70 milligrams, the same as in six ounces of black coffee. Okay, if someone collapses and don't know about CPR, okay, that's, that's something completely different. So that's the buzz about coffee flour. So check it out. It's supposed to be really good for you. Um, don't use too much of it. Definitely read the package of it. You have to read the fine line. And uh, um, so check it out. I don't know if I'll check it out. I'm, not, I'm a social coffee drinker. <laughs> I don't know if I drink it that much. I want to try a coffee flour. It sounded good. It sounded good, but then uh, mm, kind of threw me off with that bitter thing, you know, and how you won't notice it in the brownies. I guess because some brownies use the dark chocolate. Like, it's a lot of brownies that I just don't like. They're just too sweet for me. Um, just too sweet. You can't uh, do with so much of it, especially if you're diabetic. Definitely watch that sugar this holiday season because everything you eat is <laughs> Some form of sugar in it. Everything you eat, anyway. But now you're gonna double do it because of the Thanksgiving holiday. So definitely make sure that um, you you look out for that. Now we're gonna talk about picture perfect. Okay, so see what I tried to do with coffee talk is not to put so much in there so that I can be. I get on average three three articles in about something that's going on. So I get on average about three of them. So I just said I just kind of stick to the uh, average. Now, um, we're going to talk about pictures for a few minutes, and then uh, then we'll move to something else. Might be time to go. (laughs) Okay. Now, everyone wants to look picture perfect for the holidays. Pictures, 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 pictures are everywhere. Uh, It's the camera, on the wall, and Facebook, and Twitter, just Everybody's face is up in the place. That's just that's just how things go. That's just the new. It's just the new now. It's just how things are going in today's society. My my um my computer really is not wanting to work for me tonight. It's just being really really stubborn, and I don't even understand why it's doing that. Okay, so. You got sites like Snapfish and Shutterfly. You got Walmart. You got Walgreens. Um, even Amazon is getting into the digital thing as far as the um, the pictures. Now, to help you make a selection that will continue to satisfy you even after the photo has been on your mantle for years, you want to put ten. They put ten services through their through paces to assess the ordering experience. Okay. Now, these are some of the things that they look for in digital, um, um, in digital print printing that you might want to look for. They look for finer things like uh, um, high marks from um, from the expert detailed uh, textured area of the photo, the strands of hair or fibers in the subject. Like this one got a Santa's hat on. They looked at the fibers in the fur. Um, how crisp and how sharp it was, shadows on the face, and more realistic look. Okay, and then there's the noise control, you know, uh, what what photographers call noise. Noise is, to me, it's something that kind of smooths out. It points out the streaks, the color of unsightly dots, um, subjects of cheeks, can even make the skin look rough and uneven. It can um, the noise can. True colors to gauge color saturation compared to prints with vendors, um, reference photos used in their printer testing. They also look for even color graduation and subtracted points for blotching. You know, you just don't want to blotch a healthy glow. That's what you want to look for. 
The flesh tones are considered to be the most important component part of your overall color score. The best prints in the skin appear natural, accurate, the original, um, not too red, not too yellow, strong contrast prints. Um, some prints with too much contrast have, or an uneven contrast, decline in detail and shadows and highlights, and also, also lost points. Prints with too little contrast look dull and muted colors. Yeah, too little contrast don't look good. Now, cropping is always um, one of the things to help a picture come out. Um, a bummer is when the image doesn't match the size of the print. Um, Amazon has auto cropping centers on their new frame. Many digital cameras use a format that will make a four by five three print instead of a four by six. Okay. So when the photo is centered and enlarged on enlarged to fit a four by six format, any portion that doesn't fit on the page is cropped, including um, including the the people the top of the head. You know, it uh, crops all that. Walmart has auto cropping, which is more sensitive to the subject matter, but still gave this chap an uncut trim for the hair. They were talking about how close it came to the top of the um, the, the, the the head. Okay, Amazon is a bummer because it kind of cut off cut off the picture. Um, on a four by six, uh, Walmart did okay auto cropping, but it still came too close to the head. The best they found um, this print from Nation's Photo Lab rendered the most satisfying composite. Okay, out of the three. Okay, and then you have the colors, the light, light mode. What people do as far as the color, the brightness, the saturation. Costco is a bummer. Um, it left the faces totally washed out. Uh, for Caucasian company, you can't really wash out an African American. <laughs> okay, the better a better one is the Nation's Photo Lab. They did a much better job with the facial skin tones, but they still didn't balance the pictures around. It was a little bit unbalanced. The best was and and Dorama's pics and Dorama's pics and Dorama pics. They did the best for saturation. So if you want to get the best photo finishes, their guide that has the best going from 100 on down to number 31. They have, um, for print quality, you can get uh, Walgreens is rated at number one, and the, and Dorama Picks is rated at number two with the score of 97. Walgreens have a score of 98. Walmart photos have a score of 91. Amazon has a score of 88. CDS have a score of 88. Shutterfly have a score of 81. Ooh. Snapfish has a score of 81. Canon uh, Pixima gives you 81. Costco Photo Center, you got 72. Nation Photo Lab is 68, MPix is 54, and Epson, Epson Expression is 31. Okay, so if you want to use those uh, services, you definitely check out what services work best for you. You definitely want to do that. And uh, on that note, we're going to go to some Thai. <laughs> we're going to listen to some, um, some Thai moves. With uh, his song, let's go ahead. Uh, something to prove. All right. No, let's do just breathe because this type, <laughs> this time of season, you have to tell yourself, just breathe, okay? Yeah. <sighs> just breathe. Then move, just breathe, then move. No sound, just move, just breathe, then move. One shot you got, then you take it. So real, then how could you fake it? If not, then I will create it. 
trip here on the beer button naked. My blood was taught how to make it. Violence is so overrated. My guard is now separated. But no doubt we get time to face it. Till then I'm on a vacation. With black girls, white girls, and Asians. Why not? Cause I'm so amazing. Check this. Right now respect this. Cause my flow is just so relentless. My sentence is intense with true sense. On true ish, I'm on my to-do list. The coolness, the cuteness, I do this. I reflect, I show up, I prove it. If you relate, then show up and prove it. I'm just trying to be honestly, probably one of the most promising critics in claims. Cause I'm more the fame to the world on my name. Yeah, to the world on my name. <laughs> to the world on my name. Call it out. Yeah, hey, just breathe, then move. Just breathe, then move. No sound, just move. Just breathe, then move. Just breathe, then move. No sound, just move. Just breathe, then move. No sound, just move. Keep going, I know you can make it. Don't stop, just press on and break it. Stand tall and puff up your greatness. Thank God in your body's language. It's simple if your mental is balanced. So fresh like mentos to Paris. Ain't hot, stay clear from average. Cause King Kong don't got this established uh, Therefore I go so banana uh-huh. Just smile cause life is the camera uh-huh. Love more, live more than laughter yeah. So breathe on and breathe out your anger okay. From then on repeat all your actions yeah. Some win and some lose for practice right. But work hard to play hard relaxing <laughs> Yeah Hey, just breathe, then move Just breathe, then move No sound, just move Just breathe, then move Just breathe, then move no sound, just move, just breathe, then move. Yeah. holiday season because it's going to get a little crazy. I just have a feeling that, I mean, most people are doing relatively well um, as far as their finances this this season. Next year, it may not be so so good because uh, whether you know it or not, this, uh, um, this what's happening with the world as far as things moving is, is a result of, um, what is that? is a result of uh, the government, the last government, not what Trump is doing. We haven't felt the effects of what Trump is doing, guys. So don't uh, be careful. Enjoy it while it's good. (laughs) Enjoy it while it's good. Okay, so I only got a few more minutes with you, and I want to talk about something about how many ways can you make a turkey. Now, if you're looking for alternative ways to do the Thanksgiving turkey, here's some tips for you that you might want to check into. And I'm getting these tips off of ovensreview.com, okay? So they have a braised turkey that looks delish. Oh, my gosh. It looks so good. It's a braised turkey. Um, it's not your traditional Thanksgiving. You also have the deep fried turkey, which a lot of people do go out and fry. I think it's just dangerous. You have the grilled turkey. It came in at number three. Number four, you have the smoked turkey. That looks absolutely delish, too. And then it's propped on a beer can turkey. I don't even get what that's all about. <laughs> okay, which is uh, with herbs, 32-ounce can used to stand to brilliant, obviously, way to cook fine beer with food, okay? And then you have six, a snack, snack, a snatch crop turkey, okay? <laughs> Number seven, stuffed with other birds, ooh. Number eight is stewed. Number nine is immersed in water, in a water bath. And number 10 is dehydrated. Oh, those are 10 different ways to cook a turkey. But you can look for yourself at ovens review.com. Some of them look really, really good, like their braised turkey. Ooh, might be something to check out after the holidays. So, But I got to go. So thank you for listening. Remember, do unto others as you will have them do unto you. Have a fabulous Thanksgiving, Di- Diamonds, and please don't drink and drive. And I will see you next week on Talent Intent. Thank you for listening.
Bye-bye.